Hi guys, it's me again, and today we're going to be building a vacuum chamber from some basic hardware items. So what you're going to need is a 2-inch PVC cap, a 2-inch PVC clean-out adapter with a plug, a piece of 2-inch clear PVC. This is the hard-to-find item. You can get a piece like this on eBay for a few dollars. Also a bolt-in tire valve. Auto parts stores should have that. Some PVC glue. You don't need primer since it's pretty much no pressure. And some thread tape, as well as one of these automotive all-purpose pumps. They'll usually come with some clear tubing, as well as a little Schrader valve chuck adapter, which is the piece we'll be needing, as well as the pump. You can buy these pumps for about $10, so they're not very expensive. Now let's start building it. The first step is to modify the clean-out plug by drilling a hole right in the middle. You have to drill a hole that matches the size of your little bolt-in tire valve. Next, you'll want to install the bolt in tire valve. You just push the bottom piece of it into the hole and then from the top install the... A tiny adjustable wrench is handy for tightening the nut. You want to be careful not to over tighten it, which is why I like using a tiny wrench for this step. Now we can assemble the PVC body. So ideally you would be using clear PVC glue, but this gray stuff works too. And if I wipe off the excess glue, you can generally have a pretty clean looking joint. Same goes for the cap, just cement it on and then let this part sit to cure. It takes two hours for the PVC glue I'm using, but make sure you check what it says on the can. So now let's test the vacuum chamber. To ensure a good seal on the threaded part, I like to just use one wrap of Teflon tape. This tape is about $3 a roll and it's a huge roll. so you get a lot of it. Plus it's very thick, so you only need one wrap for the vacuum chamber. Now before screwing it down, you need to put the thing you're gonna vacuum. I'm putting in a glove that I've tied off so we can watch it expand. You just need to hand tighten this. No need to get all crazy with a wrench and you might actually damage that if you wrench on it. Just like that. Now let's hook up the pump. This pump has two inlets and outlets. It's meant to be used with these clear tubings that are included for transferring fluid, but if you put the tire valve attachment it came with on the inlet port, it makes a pretty good vacuum pump, especially for the $10 price tag. So now we just hook this up and start pumping. And you can see the glove expanding as I pump. Now let's relieve the vacuum. You can see that glove shrink back down. So yes, I would say this is a pretty functional vacuum pump. So as well as a functional vacuum chamber. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did and see you on next time.